Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Well, you know, I got the 70 watt from Adam Stack, the A70, and I needed an enclosure, and I really wanted to make one, uh, but that's going to take a while. And I wanted to use the laser to make it. I think I talk about that again, but... So I took a look at the Adam Stack enclosure that they suggested, and I thought, you know... After looking at the measurements, it's probably not going to fit. I'm mean, probably going to have to make some cuts to make it work, but uh, I really liked the price, so I ordered it, and uh, I did buy this with my own money, and uh, man, I had to tell you about it. it. This is a fantastic deal. $130. Uh, it comes, well, I'm going to show you what it comes with. We're going to go over, uh, I'll go over it with, it's right behind me. Um, but I was just super impressed. I mean, I, I think you considering the price the, of a usual one is about like $50 even for the super cheap ones. It's, it doesn't even come close to what this does as far as keeping the sound down, keeping the smoke out, uh, being big enough, being a sturdy, not having to deal with the zipper every time you're trying to, you know, uh, it's uh, just thicker. Everything about it is just better. And uh, I was very impressed. Now you don't have to modify this, but I did. Uh, I'm going to show that to you as well. And then when I mention that, uh, I have the AC infinity, I got the cheap one and it's super good. Uh, I actually bought the cloud one, the one that costs a hundred bucks, a hundred and some bucks. And uh, I like this way better. I've bought a few of these since then. They're quieter. They're just the perfect amount of, uh, you know, fan to be able to take out a, a pretty large volume. And uh, I like the manual uh, fan being able to turn it up and down. I like that a lot better than the electronic one. It's a lot easier to deal with. And when you just want to, you know, barely have it on, you can't even hear it. So I'll go over how I do that. And then you just want to get the uh, six inch flex and I just cut out a hole, <laughs> you know, and uh, I think that's the way to go. Now it does come with its own fan uh, and I'm sure it'll work fine. My plan is to slowly make a an enclosure, but I wanted to make sure I liked it you know, like the laser, it was going to work for what I wanted it to do. I didn't want to make all of this stuff and then say, well, you know, I'd rather have something else. So I, yeah, I just wanted to pass this on to you. Cause I think it's, I think it's great. Uh, $130 plus I paid $9 shipping, no tax. And they're having some buy more, save more thingy here. Um, you know, if you buy a laser or whatever, but I'll have a link below for it. Um, even though I did, I, I bought this off my own affiliate link, <laughs> but you guys can use my affiliate link down there. And, uh, the shipping is super quick. I got it in two days, so you can check below when you order it, but, uh, definitely as cases go for the price. Good job. Uh, now let's go over and I will kind of go over the whole thing with you. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. Um, it's pretty darn incredible, but it's big. Yeah, let's take a look at the size. So that's 30, almost 31 inches by, wow, uh, about 32 inches. So not going to be small. This table is 36 inches by 36 inches, and that gives you a little extra room for all the other things you may need. Uh, this happens to be the A70, the 70 watts. So the air assist and the power are huge. And so that extra space is really nice. I built this table to be very stable, but it's uh, three feet by three feet, which makes a lot of sense for your larger lasers. And fits this one perfectly. Although it pushes out the edge here just a little bit because of this module. Uh, but for the majority of lasers, it's going to fit well within this space. 
Uh, this is one of the largest normal, not max size or extended size, lasers around. Uh, you can see I've been doing some cut tests, which I'll be putting out in the next video. But, uh, and this is actually a 500 by 500, or what they call a 500 by 500 millimeter um, honeycomb bed. And you can see it kind of looks small in there. Uh, it's actually, if you look at it, it's really like 460 usable area. So it's not quite big enough for this actual laser, but that's one of the things I'll get to. But just the quality of this thing, you got this light, uh, bar light, which I've got hooked up to where when you close it, it really kind of shows everything. Looks really nice inside. So it comes with this, which I think is really cool. I just need to put it back in there. But it uh, that's really nice. It has an on-off switch. And it was easy to put in. This thing, uh, you could put it together in about, I don't know, without taking the tape off of these, which you can see it does. That's one. I, the only negative thing, it does kind of get stuck behind there. So what would normally be so fun to do is take this plastic off. It's kind of annoying in some ways. Uh, that's literally the thing that takes the most time out of everything. I mean, you pretty much unpack it, throw it up and it's done, which is, which is super, super cool. I just like the build quality. I think everything about it is, feels very solid. And the reason, you know, I got it. I want to make my own enclosure for this, but I want to use the laser to help me make the enclosure. So how do you do that if you don't have an enclosure? <laughs> so that's one of those crazy things. But I want to take my time and I want to build the enclosure the way I want to. And now that I have this, <laughs> I could take as long as I want. And it's really great because I could, it fits pretty much any laser that I'm going to get. Now let's look at the back here. Uh, the only modification I made is I cut a six inch hole in the back here because I love this as an exhaust fan. And yes, I did use a laser to make this uh, rear. I just cut out a six, uh, six inch hole and then put it in my window. Now, if you don't have a laser powerful enough to cut a thick piece of wood, you could cut two thin pieces of wood at six inches and then uh, just stick this in your window. I find sucking the air out actually works better than uh, pushing it out. So, you know, a lot of times you'll have your um, exhaust fan sticking out the actual enclosure. I find that to work less good. I like it to be right at the window. In fact, if you can put this outside, uh, then you won't have the noise from the fan, which isn't very loud. That's one of the reasons I love this one. It's much uh, less loud than the more expensive one. And it, uh, it pulls plenty of air for this type of thing. And so that was the thing is, you know, I didn't even use the fan that came with it. Uh, you can see I just made the hole and just put it right in. I didn't even use the fan that came with it. It goes over here in this area. Uh, just because I knew, I mean, looking at the volume of this and how much smoke this bad boy is going to be putting out, uh, I, I knew it wasn't going to be sufficient for what I want. Now, it'll probably get you by for a while, but it's so cheap. And I'll put it all up on the screen. Um... This exhaust fan is so cheap and with the hose that it just seems like a no-brainer to do, especially you're not spending that much on the enclosure compared to what you're getting. So there's no reason to belabor the point on this video. I'll make it kind of quick and uh, down and dirty, but I really love it. I'm super impressed. I'm, maybe you guys have questions, go ahead and put them below, but uh, yeah. Great enclosure for the money and uh, hands down probably the best one I've ever ever bought So I'm going to get to work and I'll see you in the next one of y'all